I've got coffee and water, and I can hear it like going.
unmute it. Just go. Hello, hello. Yes. Good morning. I hope everybody's starting to roll out their mat. I love you. We're gonna do mat Pilates this morning. Is everyone ready? Yes! Good. Woo! So Toya's gonna be doing mat Pilates from behind the camera. She will be contracting her core, right? Yes, and all of you will need to be breathing today. Yes. There's no video. Yeah, okay, I turned it off because I didn't want them to see our, our magic. Can you see? Woo! Okay, I'm muting and I'm stopping the video.
sorry, not yet. <laughs> All right, our mic is on for Zoom. I can't start this yet. We are going in 15 seconds. All right. All right. I'll count you down from. You got two to go now. Here we go. 10, <laughs> 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're on. Awesome. Good morning, Union Knights. We're here for some math. Pilates. I am joined by our lovely cat who also teaches math Pilates as well as yoga, of course. And by Steve, my boss. Am I not lovely? You are very lovely. <laughs> <laughs> who does not teach math Pilates? Who does not? No. Is it all right if I bounce you around for the next hour? 100%. All right, here we go. <laughs> so, math Pilates has six pillars. Breathe, because breath is life. Centering, which means concentrate on your core and your powerhouse, which is what Joseph Pilates called it. Concentration, that means keeping your mind in the game. Control, which means your mind actually controls your muscles, so connect the two. Flow, which means move it around, make it feel like it's like you're a beautiful dancer. And then precision, focus on the cues that I give you to make it more precise. Are we ready? Yeah. Yes. All right. Go ahead and lie down on your back. We're going to start with grounding. Extend your legs out long. Land on your mat. Take a nice deep breath in. Let it out. Another inhale. And exhale. H A Hasa. Go ahead and bend your knees. Place your feet hip width apart. With grounding, you're going to focus first on your feet. Press into your toe mounds and your pinky toe mound and draw a line back to your heel. Feel your feet ground. Don't let your knees fall out. Press in and then focus on your sacrum, on the flat of your back. Notice the natural curve of your spine. Press your shoulders out wide. Press your palms into the floor. Feel grounded from the head to the toe. Take a deep breath in, and then as you exhale, H A Ha sound, push your lower back into the floor. This is called imprinting your spine. Take an inhale, let the natural curve come back. And then exhale, imprint again. You'll hear me use both throughout class. Inhale, soften. One last one. Exhale, imprint. Good. Come to a neutral spine. Inhale. Reach your arms overhead. Exhale. Hands come back down. Squeeze your fingers. Fire up all the muscles in your arms. Inhale. Reach up. Fill up. Exhale. Hands come back down by your hips. Belly pulls in tight. Breath in. Extend up. Breath out. Release your arms back down. One last one. Inhale. Reach your arms up. Exhale. Hands come back down. Extend your legs long. Squeeze your legs together. Point for your toes as much as you can. Nice. Good. Point, point, point. Good. Inhale. Reach your arms overhead. Keep the back of your ribs pressing into the floor. So if your arms are floating, that's okay. Exhale, hands come back down. Squeeze every muscle in your legs and your arms. Breath in, extend your arms up. And then exhale, hands come back down. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, belly pulls in, arms back down. Inhale, reach up. Keep the back of your ribs 
on the floor. Exhale, hands come back down. Last one, breath in, extend, push into the back of your mat. Exhale, release your arms back down. Plant your hands on the floor, bend your knees, place your feet hip width apart. We're moving into a pelvic curl. Think of this as peeling your pelvis up off the floor by pulling your belly tight as opposed to squeezing your glutes. Take a breath in on the mat. As you exhale, belly pulls in, hips lift up. They won't go too high. Breath in at the top, and then exhale slowly lower, bone by bone. So you're still in that concentration. Focus on the middle of your core. Inhale. Exhale, belly tight to lift your hips. Inhale at the top, and then exhale, slowly lower back down. Breath in here, breath out, ha, lift up, squeeze in, inhale, and exhale, slowly lower back down. Last one, breath in, belly pulls in, hips peel up. Breath in at the top, and then exhale, slowly lower. Push each vertebrae onto the floor. Excellent. Bring your knees right over your hips. Step your knees right over your hips. Flex through your ankles. So you're reaching your toes back towards your knees. Now press into your palms. Take an inhale. Right here, imprint your spine. Push the lower back into the, into the floor. You're going to keep this the whole time for your heel touches. Inhale. Hinge at the hips. So you're just moving same distance. Knee, your heels go towards the mat. Exhale, lift your knees back up. It can be one inch or the heels can touch. Inhale, legs move away. Exhale, knees come back up. Breath in, legs move away. Breath out, lift back up. Inhale, legs hinge. Exhale, lift up. Two more, breath in. Breath out. One last one. And exhale. Keep your knees right there. Extend your arms overhead for an ab curl. Take a breath in. As you exhale, lift up, reach towards the front mirror, lift your head, lift your shoulders. Crunch in. Breath in. Extend your arms overhead. Release your head, shoulders down. Good. Exhale, lift up. Eyes to thighs, keep your knees over your hips. Good, inhale, extend, and exhale, lift. Rib to hip connection, breath in, extend, breath out, lift. Two more, inhale, and exhale. Focus on your breath, breath is light, inhale, Exhale, lift up, hold here. We're gonna move into our hundreds. Steve's gonna show level one. He's gonna keep his legs just like this. Kat is gonna extend her legs and point through her toes. Notice she's squeezing her legs. Both spines are imprinted. Start pumping your arms vigorously. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. In, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. In, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Squeeze your legs, pump your arms. Belly tight, eyes to thighs. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Squeeze your hands, pump your arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Last one. And exhale, two, three, four, and five. Knees down. Oh, feel the heat? Do you feel the heat? Awesome. I really wish everybody could see Latoya dancing behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Latoya is doing her husband standing up behind oh, the camera. Okay. Go, Latoya. Nice. Now that we've built a little bit of heat, we're going to move into our roll up. Your ribs are going to want to shoot up. Don't let them. <laughs> Good. So you're going to 
this time you're going to flex through your ankles and point your toes back up towards your head. Squeeze your thighs. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. You're going to roll up to a sit up by using your belly, not the momentum in your arms. Take an inhale. Exhale, sit up, roll up, chin to chest, belly tight, reach forward, don't touch those toes. Drop your head in line with your arms. Good, C curve, create a C curve, pull in. Take an inhale, exhale, lower, push into your heels, squeeze your legs, use your belly, roll down, resist, resist. Inhale, arms overhead, keep those ribs down, ah, nice Steve. Exhale, roll up, chin to chest, Belly tight, reach forward. Notice how cat is pulling in and creating this C curve. Breath in, exhale, lower, resist. Imagine I'm holding your hands, I'm keeping you from coming down. This is a negative, good, inhale, and then exhale, roll up. Press into those heels, curl in, so your belly is tight here. Breath in, and then exhale, slowly lower down. Resist, 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 resist. Breath in, push into the back of the ribs here. Good, exhale, roll up, reach forward, round in. Take a breath in and then exhale, slowly lower. Here's your last one, you've got it. Resist, push in, slowly, precision, lights. Breath in, exhale, roll up, chin, ribs, belly. Reach forward, round in, touch your toes. Go for it, Steve. Almost, 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 touch them. You got it. They're so far away. They're so far away. Good. Take a, nice, take a sip of water. Here's your water break. Ooh. How's that centering going? So centered. So centered. Awesome. Good. I'm a little bit to the left right now. <laughs> Good. Swing your legs around behind you. And you're going to, we're moving into our plank series. So you're going to bring your hands to the front of your mat and swing your legs behind. Come into a tabletop. Before we step our legs back, I want you to focus on your arms. Spread your fingers wide. Roll your shoulders open and then hug in, squeeze in. Push the floor away and round through the upper spine. Now step your right leg back and your left leg back. If this is too intense, you can always lower to your knees. Pull your belly in tight, push the floor away, gaze slightly in front of you so that you've got space in the back of the neck and the front of the neck. Breath in, breath out. Squeeze your thighs, lift your kneecaps, lift your quads. Belly tight, each exhale. Good, breath in, breath out. Inhale. And exhale, breath in and out, push the floor away. One more inhale and exhale, belly tight. Breath in, bend your knees, bring your hips over your knees, push the floor away, arms straight. Good, this is our plank pullback. Exhale, shoot forward. Use the exhale, pull your belly in tight. Inhale, move back. Exhale, shoot forward. Inhale, bend knees. Notice hips over knees, shins in line. Good, exhale, come forward, belly tight. Nice, I like that cannon ball action speed. <laughs> bend the knees, reach back. Exhale, shoot forward. Two more, breath in, breath out. Inhale, and exhale. Hold for five. Four, three, two, one. Bring your knees to the mat, shell stretch, hips towards your heels, and you're actually curling in. So you're rounding in, same as that C curve. As you roll up, belly is tight, you're stretching through your spine. So you're getting more space through the back body and still centering, still squeezing in through your powerhouse. Breath in, breath out. And exhale. Last one. Breath in. 
and out. Nice. Come back up onto all fours. We have one more exercise for the plank series. Plank pull back or leg pull front. Go ahead and step yourself back. Oh, actually, let's turn. Let's try this. Steve, you're going to show level one. Okay. You can keep your knees in under your hips and your arms just over your shoulders, your shoulders over your wrist, and you're going to extend your right leg out. Point through the toes, hover the leg up, but point through your toes, take an inhale, exhale, kick three times. Ha, ha, ha. Good. See if you can keep the hips from moving and just the leg moves. Try one more time. Ha, ha, ha. Nice. Good. That's level one. Cat, step it back and show level two. She's going to come into a full plank, extend her right leg, hover, point, exhale, kick. Ha, ha, ha. Good. Lower down. You get to choose which way you're going to do it, either tabletop or step it back. And Steve, you can decide. Go ahead. Step back into a plank. Extend your right leg. Take an inhale. Exhale, kick. Ha, ha, ha. Good. Ground right knee or right foot. Extend left. Point through your toes. Exhale, kick. Ha, ha, ha. Ground left. Lift right. Inhale. Exhale. Ha, ha. Ha, round right, lift left. Inhale, exhale. Ha, ha, ha. Round left, lift right. Exhale. Ha, ha, ha. Round right, lift left. Exhale. Ha, ha, ha. One more round. Inhale, right. Exhale. Ha, ha, ha. Round right, lift left. Exhale. Ha, ha, ha. Good. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog, and then walk your hands back slowly towards the back of your mat. Take your time. Keep your weight forward on the front of your feet. Take an inhale, and you're going to use the exhale to roll up. Pull your belly in, round up. Stack your shoulders over your hips, reach your arms overhead, palms face forward, and then exhale. This is spine stretch. Roll down, think of stretching your spine, chin to chest, knit your ribs, belly tight, hands touch the mat as you come down, walk it forward, come into a plank position. Take an inhale in your plank. Use the exhale to steady yourself. Inhale, bend your elbows one inch or do a hover. Exhale, push the floor away, come up. Good, breath in, bend. Notice how Kat's elbows are right by her ribs. Exhale, push and lift. Inhale, bend. And exhale, push. Nice, walk your hands back. Come to the back of your mat. Take a nice deep breath in there. Keep the weight forward. And then exhale, roll up slowly. Belly tight. Last thing, inhale, reach your arms overhead, touch the disco ball. Good, exhale, <laughs> round down. Only Steve can touch the disco ball. <laughs> Hands touch, walk it out, and we're going into our push-ups. Three, take a nice deep breath in. Use the exhale to feel that centering. Good, breath in, bend your elbows. Breath out, push the floor away. Squeeze, good, breath in, bend, hover. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, squeeze your elbows in. Exhale, push the floor away. Walk your hands back. Only one more to go. You've got this. Only one. Take an inhale. Use your exhale to roll up. Belly pulls in. Stack. Breath in. Arms overhead. And then exhale. Spine stretch. Take a stretch through the back, tight through the front. Walk it forward. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, squeeze in. Inhale, bend. Exhale, push. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. Breath in. Breath out. Push the floor away. Good. Walk your hands back. Take a nice deep breath in here. Exhale. Slowly roll up. Breath in, reach your arms overhead, and exhale, release your arms down. Walk to the middle of your mat. We're going to stay in this, in this kind of 
sideways position so that you can see a little bit what's happening. We're moving into our standing series. For this, you're doing rock squats and mermaid squats. The most important thing that I want you to think of is knees over your feet. So they're gonna turn their legs out or turn their feet out into a Pilates first. Heels together, toes out. And then bring your hands to your hips and just bend a couple times. Make sure you can still see your big toes. Good. And stay on the hips. Come up onto the balls of the feet. Now, this is challenging. Walk your feet in so that the heels touch. You can lower back down. And keep your heels on the ground. Good. Take a breath in. And then as you exhale, pull in through the front of your belly. Hands come up behind your head. Now, notice if your ribs shoot out, pull those ribs in. Inhale, bend your knees, lower down. Keep your shoulders over your hips. Exhale, squeeze your legs together. Good, breath in, bend, lower. Exhale, pull your legs together, squeeze your glutes at the top. Good, breath in, bend. Breath out, squeeze. Good, inhale, lower. Move your knees away from each other. Exhale, bring your knees close in. Inhale, bend. Exhale, squeeze. Good, inhale, bend. Notice how her knees are going out wide. Exhale, lift. Last one, inhale, bend, hold. Tiny pulses down. Good, squeeze and lift. Come all the way up, squeeze your legs together, and release. Ooh, feel that? No, not at all. Not at all, good. <laughs> We're strengthening those two. Good. Step it out wide for your mermaid squat. Turn your toes out. So your heels will be probably on your mat and your toes are turned down. Bend your knees and make sure that your knees are traction right over. So you might even want to turn your toes in a little bit. Just, yeah, there you go. Now squeeze those knees away. Notice how when she squeezes her knees away, that fires up the back. <laughs> Good. Extend your legs. Extend your arms. Good, we got it, we got it. Palms face up here. You're gonna bend your elbows and bend your knees at the same time. So inhale, bend your elbows, bend your knees. Exhale, extend arms, extend legs. Inhale, bend, squeeze all the muscles in your arms. If you have a naked fist, yeah, there you go. Exhale, squeeze, reach out through your fingertips. Good, inhale, bend, squeeze. I love it. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Move your knees away from each other. Good. Exhale, extend. Squeeze at the top. Inhale, bend. Notice how their hips and their shoulders are stacked. Exhale, squeeze in. Good. Inhale, bend. Everything is firing up. Exhale, extend. Three more. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, breath in, down, exhale, squeeze and extend. Last one, inhale, lower. You can either keep your hands there or bring them to your hips. Tiny pulses down. Good, hold here. Squeeze your knees away from each other. Extend your legs, squeeze at the top, and release. All right. Go ahead and come down onto your knees. This is the last one for the standing series. You're standing on your knees here. They're hip width apart. And notice how you're getting a nice stretch through the back of your, or the top of your feet. Reach your arms up parallel to the floor. Exhale, squeeze behind your shoulders. Good, plug your shoulders back. Now take an inhale, stay right here. Exhale, think of rib to hip connection. Keep that the whole time. Inhale, just hinge at your knees, keeping that plank position in your body. Exhale, lift up. 
This is a thigh stretch. Inhale, move back. You're firing up those muscles in your thighs, pushing into the tops of your feet. Exhale, lift up. Inhale back, belly tight. Exhale, lift up. Good, inhale, hinge, keep that chest forward. Nice, exhale, lift up. Two more, inhale back. Exhale, lift. Last one, inhale, hold. And exhale, lift. <laughs> Well, they they stayed. Was that awesome or not? I knew that was coming for some reason. I knew it. Yeah. A little extra squeeze yeah. for that last thigh stretch. Good. We're moving into our, our shoulder stretches. So inhale, reach your palms back behind you. Keep your, left, your whole body in that tight position. Exhale, release your hands back down. Good. Breath in. Here's your chest expansion. Reach back, but keep rib to hip. Yes. Good. Exhale, lower. Inhale, reach back. Belly tight, rib to hip. Exhale, lower. Breath in, reach it back. Breath out, lower. Inhale. And exhale. Last one, reach it back and hold. Turn your head to the right. Stretch over to the left, come back through center, and release. Inhale, reach it back. I said it was the last one, but it isn't. <laughs> Turn your head to the left, over to the right. Come back through center, and release. Now it's your last one. Inhale, reach it back. Tiny pulses, thumbs towards each other. If you use that hop, you'll notice that your diaphragm shoots in and up. And the natural tendency is that as that diaphragm lifts, your rib and hip connection gets smaller. So you're pulling in. Stretch through your shoulders one more and release. Nice. This is an excellent exercise for someone like who's Steve, who has tight shoulders, right? And all of us who spend a lot of time like this. Right. Good. Swing your legs around. We're moving into our flexion series. My favorite series. It's your favorite. <laughs> We're going to flex. <laughs> it's also got the fab five. What are the fab five? Single leg stretch, double leg stretch, double leg press, crisscross, and scissors. Yeah? Good. We're going to connect the first two, single leg stretch and double leg stretch. You want to work on flow here. You want it to feel like it has flow. The smaller the movement, generally the more you can focus on the center. The larger the movement, the more you have to work on your precision and your stability. Yeah? Good. Go ahead and come into a tabletop. So knees over your hips. Point for your toes for this one. Reach your arms up, take an inhale, and you're going to exhale and bow up, lift up. Frame your right leg, bring your left hand inside of your right leg, right hand, yes, extend your left leg out, take an inhale, exhale, switch and hold, good, frame. Switch the direction, so this one's in and this one's further out, there you go, inhale, exhale, switch, ha, and switch, ha, and switch, ha. Switch. We're going together. All together. Two more. Right, left, both legs in. Pull them in. Hug them in. Round in. Keep your arms, your shoulders, and your head off the ground. Inhale. Extend your arms. Extend your legs. Exhale. Sweep your arms around. Curl in. Wrap in. Extend up. Breath out, sweep. Inhale, extend. And exhale, curl in. Breath in, get long. Breath out, pull in. Inhale. And exhale. <laughs> Inhale. And squeeze. Two more. Breath in. And out. <sighs> Last one, get long. Curl it in as tight as you can and then release. 
Good. Take a nice deep breath in. Let it out. How are we doing at home? Good. Did I get your breath going a little bit? Awesome. Good. Double leg press. This can be tiny. This can be tiny. You could move your legs away half an inch and still feel it. The most important thing is that you feel it in the lower belly. Good. Bring your legs up over your hips, heels together, toes out wide. So you're coming into Pilates first. Yes. Now you're going to notice Steve's knees are bent because of mobility. He has to keep his knees bent so that his knees can be over his hips. Good. Hands behind your head. Take an inhale. Use the exhale to lift your head and shoulders. Notice that already scoops their belly in. Inhale, move your legs away one inch or to a hover. Exhale, lift up. Good. Breath in, move away. Breath out, lift. Good. Inhale, extend. Exhale, lift. There's three. Three more. Inhale. And exhale. Breath in. And out. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Hold here. Keep your head up. Take an inhale. Bend your knees. Then you're going to cross right to left. Extend your left leg. Good. Other way. There we go. <laughs> and switch. Inhale through center. Exhale. So we're going slow. Inhale through center. Exhale, cross. Good. Inhale through center. Exhale, cross. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale. And they're going to, they are not listening to my cues. Release I, down for a I second. I'm just thinking of suffering on my soul. <laughs> suffering on your soul. Okay. So I want you to pause in the middle. We're going to try it one more time. Take a breath in. Let it out. So fast is good, but we're going, we're going for slow and precise. Yeah, that's our sixth pillar. So you're going to take a breath in in the middle, and then you're going to really use that exhale to squeeze everything out and feel those obliques. Yeah? Good. Come back into the tabletop position. You're going to go right together. We're going to choreograph this. So left elbow to right knee. Yes? Ha. Inhale through center. Inhale through center, come back. Exhale to the left. There we go. Breath in through center. Exhale right. Inhale through center. Exhale left. There we go. Breath in, breath out. Inhale through center. Exhale. Squeeze. Good. Inhale and exhale. Breath in through center. Exhale left. Last round. Inhale. Exhale right. Inhale, exhale left. Breath in and release. Do you feel the difference? Yes. No, it hurts. <laughs> it hurts both ways. They were both very intense. Awesome. <laughs> but I'm sure when I get to be advanced, I'll be happy. Excellent. Good. We're going to move into our scissors. You're going to notice that Steve's legs aren't straight. Same thing. It has to do with how much mobility he has in the back of his legs. The most important thing is that you are pulling in through your belly. If your legs are straight or slightly bent, don't mind it. Bring your legs overhead. This time, they're just parallel. Inhale, reach your arms overhead, and then exhale, bow up. Frame your right leg. Float your left leg down. Hold this here. Notice hand, Kat's hands are higher up. Steve's are lower. You can actually hold the leg if you want. Good. Take an inhale, but don't release that. You see what he just did? <laughs> Take an inhale, exhale, switch sides. Good. And switch. And switch. And switch. Scissor those legs. Scissor. Use the kick to feel the lower belly. Good. And kick. And kick. Belly tight. Scoop in. Point those toes. Go for it, Steve. Point those toes. Point. And half. Two more. Right. And left. And release. Woo! Good job. Excellent. 
Very good. So we managed to get fabulous. We've done our fab five. But really, there's a little bit of a trick. There's three more in the collection series. Wouldn't that be the great thing? It's like the bonus. <laughs> it's the icing on the cupcake. Good. Leg circles. You're going to keep your knees bent for level one. Extend your right leg up. Point through the toes. For level two, you can extend your left leg. Steve, for you, I'd like you to keep your left knee bent and your left foot grounded. Okay. You're working on your lower abdomen here. So you want to point and plug through that leg. Now, Steve's leg will be slightly bent, but he's really working for that lower belly to work. Inhale, you're going to circle your leg into the body and exhale around. Ha. Good. Inhale and exhale. Circle. Inhale across. Exhale out. Ha. Breath in and out. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Breath in and out. Point and plug. Hold here. Circle out. Inhale. Exhale across. Ha. Inhale out. And exhale. Ha. Inhale. Press into your palms. Exhale. Nice, Steve. Good. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. Breath in and out. Inhale and exhale. Point and foot. Feel that lower belly. I see it go down. Nice. Release. Right foot to the floor. Bring your left leg up. You're extending your right leg if you're in level two. You're keeping your right knee bent and foot grounded for level one. Circle across the body first. Inhale and exhale. Ha. Breath in and out. Ha. Inhale. Exhale. Breath in. And out, three more. Inhale, exhale, breath in, and out. Two more. Oh, last one. Hold here. Good. Switch directions. Inhale out, exhale across. Inhale, exhale, breath in, and out. Inhale, exhale. Two more. Inhale, exhale, breath in, and out. Point and plug. Good. Release. I like that precision. I can see his belly lower as I say point and plug. That's it. Good. <laughs> We're going to roll like a ball. <laughs> I love it. That sounded better than like racist. Let's take a little donut roll. Think of yourself as a little ball. Curl your, your legs in towards your chest. You're going to keep the same distance from heels to hips. So you're not using your legs as momentum. You're using your belly. You're using the center of your body, your powerhouse to rock up. Good. Rock yourself up. Curl in. Lift up. Roll back. Use the belly to roll back. And then lift up. Use the belly to lift up. And rock it back. And lift it up. Good. Rock back. Two more, and up, and last one. Rock it back and stay up as you lift up. Now you can ground your toes on the floor. You can bring your hands to the backs of your thighs. We're gonna move it to teaser. Now squeeze in, lift your chest here. Gaze forward, lift your chest, plug your shoulders down. You can stay here, this could be your teaser, or you can bring your legs so that your shins and your caps are parallel. Now notice right away she's pulling her belly in and dropping her shoulders down. If she wants to, you can release your arms, extend your arms, find your belly a little bit more. Good, take a breath in, lift your chest. Good, exhale, belly tight. Good, one more, inhale and exhale. You've got this. Hands to the backs of the thighs, extend your legs out long. Now, if you get there, you're like, oh, no way. Keep your knees bent. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Belly tight. If you want to go further, reach your arms forward first. Inhale. Exhale. Belly tight. Now, Kat's going to show us the full, the full version. Reach your arms overhead. Reach your legs overhead. Okay. Keep that squeeze. Notice that beautiful beat. Take an inhale. Exhale. Belly tight. One more. Here you go, Kat. Inhale. Gorgeous, smile, exhale, release, slide yourself down. You earned it. You tease. 
Good. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Why is that called a tease? Oh, because you're kind of teasing, like, hello, here I am. I'm gonna I did not get that. On you that. did not get that. All right, I'm going to have to work on that then. <laughs> Good. Go ahead and bend your knees. Place your feet hip width apart. And we're going to go into shoulder bridges. Here, you're focusing on the posterior chain, the back of your body. So here, when you lift up, your belly can still tighten, but you're squeezing your glutes. Take an inhale, lift up. Sorry, inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Breath in, lift up, squeeze. Breath out, lower. Inhale, lift, press your palms, press your shoulders down. Exhale, lower. Come back up, push your knees together. Yes, exhale, lower. Inhale, up, and exhale, down. Breath in, lift. And exhale, low. Two more. Inhale, up and squeeze. And down. Lift. And lower. Nice. Walk your feet together. Walk your knees together. So they're side by side. Walk big. There you go. Squeeze those knees together. This will be a smaller lift in the hips. Notice how it inspires up a little more in the front of the thighs. Squeeze your knees together. Inhale, lift your hips. Exhale, lower. Good. Breath in, press, lift, breath out, lower. Inhale, up, exhale, down. Two more. Press those palms in, Steve. Lift your hips, squeeze, and down. Last one. Lift and hold. Good. Extend your right leg, point through your toes, use the exhale to kick up. Ha, ha, ha. Hold that leg right up into the air. Press into your left heel, lift your hips. Ha, ha, ha. Ground your right foot, keep your hips up. Extend your left leg, point, exhale, kick. Ha, ha, ha. Hold here, lift hips. Ha, ha, ha. Ground left, extend right, point, kick. Ha, ha, ha. Lift hips. Ha, ha. Ground right, extend left, point, kick, ha, 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 lift hips, ha, ha, ha. One more round, you've got this, extend right, point, kick, lift hips, nice breathing, extend left, kick, listen to them, good, lift, ground left and lower, nice job. Go ahead and roll over onto your belly. We're moving into swimmers. So level one, you can keep your arms and legs grounded on the floor and lift right arm and left leg. Like this? <laughs> Steve's ready for a nap. You're almost there, Steve. <laughs> We're finishing up. Good, extend your arms, extend your legs, bring your forehead down to the floor. Take a breath in. Push your hips into the ground. Ha, good. Cat's gonna lift her whole body up. Steve's gonna keep his, his whole body grounded, but just lift his head. Lift your right arm and left leg. Lift your left arm and right leg. Ha, good, and start swimming. Ha, now Steve is doing level one, keeping one grounded and one lifted. And Cat has her whole body in level two, lifted off the ground. Reach forward and reach back. Kick from the hips. Lock your legs out. Point through your toes. Reach like you're trying to touch the wall in front of you. Get long. Space in the back of the neck. Space in the front of the neck. Belly pulls in. Notice how they're using their exhale to stay strong. Two more. Right, left, and lower. Nice. Turn your head to the right. Release your arms down. <sighs> Take a breather. You've done awesome. Slow your heart rate down. Breathe. Life is life, remember. Good. We're moving into our side series. So we're going to have them 
actually roll over, is that your right? Roll over onto your right so you're facing more towards the camera. Good, excellent. Bend your knees so that your knees are right in line with your hips at a 90 degree. And then bring your shins right to the edge of your mat. Flex through your ankles. So you're pointing your toes back towards your knees. Then bring your hands to your hips. Here's your sassy look right here. That's your hip. Good. <laughs> Is this a little more? That makes, that makes sense. That's that makes a little sense. more teaser for you, huh? <laughs> Good. And then you're going to actually press into your hips and lift your waistline up. As you lift your waistline up, pull your belly in tight. Yes. Good. You should even feel like there's a little space, like if you slide a couple fingers right under your waistline. Good. Hands back to the hip. Hydrates first. Whole leg lifts up. Inhale, lift and lower and up and down lift and lower and up and down lift and lower and up and down two more lift and lower and hold tiny pulses Whole leg lowers down. Press into that hip. Bring your heels together and your toes out in that Pilates first. So you can ground your toes or your ball of your foot towards the floor. Yeah. Lift your top knee and squeeze. And then lower it down to a hug. Inhale up and down. These are clamps. Lift and lower. And up and down. Squeeze at the top and lower and up and down. Two more, you've got this. Inhale up and lower and hold. Tiny pulses up. Good. Lower the leg down. Squeeze your net knees together. Bring your toes together and your heels away. Now Lift the bottom part of your legs off of the ground. Press into both knees. Lift your top knee. Inhale. Exhale down. And lift and lower. And up and down. And lift and lower. Four more. You got this. In and down. Up and lower. Two more. Lift and down. And hold. Good, lower the legs, press into your bottom hand, come all the way up, you're gonna make a C formation with your legs. Front leg stays right where it is, top leg goes to the side. Reach your arms out. This is a still an ab exercise. Pull your belly in, take an inhale. Exhale, lean towards your left. Reach up and over with your right. Good, breath in, get tall, lift up, extend your arms. Exhale, right hand comes to the mat. Left arm reaches up and over. Good, breath in, lift up from the crown of your head. Exhale, over to the right. Inhale, get long, extend. Exhale, right hand down. Stay here. Gaze up at your top hand, take an inhale. Exhale, thread your arm through, curl in. Breath in, extend. Reach up, see? Come all the way up. Reach it up. That was helpful. So <laughs> I didn't want to lay in. Exhale, curl. Stay right there. <laughs> Good obliques. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, curl. Good. We got this. Two more. Breath in, extend. Breath out, curl. Find those obliques. Inhale. Squeeze it all out. Good. Now you can hold that one for a minute. Squeeze it. Feels good, right? Try to stop. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Release. You're just going to swing your legs around to the back side and lie down on your left side. Right. Sit. Yes. And then come right into that 90 90. So knees right in line with your hips, shins in line with the side of your mat. Unless you're steep, then you're way off your mat. <laughs> Hand to hips. I need a bigger mat. I know. We got to get you a gigantic one. Hand to hip. Belly in, pull in, 
Find that space on the bottom. Lift your top leg for hydrants. Inhale up. Exhale, hover. So it never touches. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. Good. Lift. Keep the hip moving forward. Good. Lower. Lift up and down. Good. Lift and lower and up and down. So knee doesn't open out. Lift and lower and up and down. Lift and lower and hold. Pulse. Ha, ha, ha. Lower the leg down. Heels together, toes out, ground in that Pilates first. Lift your top knee and squeeze. And lower to go up. And lift and down. Do your climbs. Legs away and lower. Heels stay grounded, touching together. Squeeze them and down. Lift and lower. Up and down. Lift and lower and squeeze. Ha, 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 Good. Lower the legs down. Squeeze your knees together. Bring your toes together and your heels away from each other. Float the bottom part of your leg. Push your knees down. Inhale. Top knee lifts. Exhale. Lower. Ha. Lift and down. Up and lower. Lift and down. Up and lower, lift and down, and up and lower, and hold. Good. Lower your knees down, press in, come up into that Z formation. Top leg moves back, bottom leg stays right where it is. Reach your arms out, find your belly, find your core here, get long. And then exhale, lean over to the right. Left arm long, breath in, get tall, reach up. And then exhale, left hand down, right arm over. Breath in, lift up, exhale, over. Inhale, lift, exhale, down. Stretch through, gaze up at that top hand, take a breath in. Exhale, squeeze in, thread your arm through, find your release. Good, breath in, lift up, fill up, empty out, squeeze all the air out. Breath in, extend, breath out, curl. Two more, inhale up, and exhale down. Last one. And squeeze. Nice. Swing your legs around to the front mirror or the front of your room towards the, towards the gang at home. <laughs> We've got everything turned around here, so you're like, what's what? What's that? Who knows? This is our, our twisting section. I'm going to have Steve bend his knees and ground his heels. The most important thing. And you're going to reach your toes back, so you're still reaching back. Your most important thing is that he's working to stack his shoulders over his hips and find his belly. Now, this is really challenging in the lower back. He may have to hold on to his legs. If not, you can bring your hands into a cactus. Cat is going to show legs straight, and she's going to bring her arms into a cactus. Notice how both of them are working to have their shoulders right over their hips. Take a nice deep breath in. Reach up. Exhale, turn right. Good. Breath in, come through center, get tall. Exhale, turn left. Inhale up. Exhale, turn right. You've got this. Breath in, lift. Breath out, twist. Inhale up. Exhale, turn right. Press your right heel forward. Inhale through center, crown of the head reaches up. Exhale, left. Push your left heel forward. Breath in. Lift. Exhale. Ha, ha, ha. Inhale, get tall. Exhale, left. Ha, ha, ha. 
Inhale through center, release your arms down. Come onto your forearms. So you're gonna lay back on your arms like you're at the beach. Yes, good. Push your chest up, but pull your belly in. Bring your knees over your hips. Inhale to the right, legs to the right. Exhale through center. Breath in to the left. Exhale through. This is a hip twist. If you'd like to extend your right, your legs up, inhale right, exhale through center. Inhale left, exhale through center. Good, now we're gonna circle. Inhale right, exhale around to the left, and through center. Inhale left, exhale over to the right, and through center. Good, two more, inhale. And exhale, small or large, doesn't matter. Inhale, just use the center of your body, be precise. Inhale, feel the flow, feel the control. Good, last one. And come through center, nice job. Release your legs down, roll yourself onto your back, keep your knees set. Turn your toes out and not look apart so you can walk your heels out nice and wide. Turn your toes out. We'll start to windshield wiper your legs from right to left. Just get a little motion here. That feels good on the lower back. And then bring your legs over to the right. So right knee will be outside of your mat. Left knee will be moving towards your right foot. Now this is what I call gloves. Yes, there we go. Now you're letting go. You can let your arms down, you can bring them into a cactus, you can bring them to your body, whatever feels good. Find some softness here. Slow your breath down. Keep your eyes deep open. And let it out. If you'd like to get in deeper, you can bring your right outer edge of your foot to your left thigh. Take a nice deep breath in. And let it out. Release, switch sides. Legs go to the left, stretch through the right. Take a nice deep breath in, let it go. And exhale, left foot to right thigh, stretch through, ground down. Release your left leg, Back through center, feet together, knees out wide, little Buddha. You can stay in your little Buddha, you can extend your legs out long. I'd like to end today saying, stay, stay strong, find joy, and be kind. We love you. Stay totally relaxed. We'll see you again at 12 o'clock with another class. Namaste.